Number four, determine the molecular mass of the following compounds, and then we have letter C. So in this case, I have to figure out what the molecular mass is of this thing. Yay. <laughs> Let's do this, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I, I'm just going to translate what this is into a chemical formula. I'm going to highlight all the different elements that I see. So looking at this, I see that I have three different elements. I have a carbon, carbon is C, and I have another carbon over here. I have a H, which is hydrogen, and I have another H, so that's a hydrogen as well. And then I have a Br, which is bromine, and a bromine. This will give me a better indication as to how many elements I have and what type of elements, right? It does not matter what you write first. Right? I could technically put the bromine first, or the hydrogen, or the carbon. I'm just going to work from, I don't know, let's work from the middle and then work our way out. So I have carbon, right? Now how many carbons do I have? Oh, I have, well I have two green dots that I, that I wrote, right? So I have two carbons. Now, I just want to say, before we move on, that if you've noticed, I didn't even pay attention to these lines. This has nothing to do with mass. These have everything to do with the interactions between the elements and how they're holding themselves together. This is going to come up in a much later uh, a chapter, or you might have done these already. These are your Lewis structures. But the bonds, that's what these are, a single bond for one line and a double bond for two lines, they have nothing to do with the mass of the uh, formula, mainly because bonding is all about electrons, and electrons have such a negligible amount of mass that we don't even really count it. So, let's keep going. So we did the carbons, check and check. Now let's do, I don't know, let's do the hydrogens. So I have a yellow circle here, that's one hydrogen, and then I have another hydrogen. So collectively, I have two hydrogens. And then the same thing for the bromines, right? I have two blue circles, so I have two bromines. So that's basically what you have to do. You just have to tell me what elements you have and how many you have of them. So I have carbon, hydrogen, bromine, and in this case I have two of each. So two, two, two. Now what you're going to do is you're going to multiply these numbers by the masses that you see on the periodic table. Now the thing is is that there's usually going to be two numbers that you're going to see for each individual element. You're going to see a whole number and you're going to see like a decimal value. The question is, which one is the mass value? We want to find the molecular mass. The decimal values are the mass values. They're actually the average mass of all of the isotopes of that element that exist in, you know, on Earth. So we'll say that these are the atomic masses. Just as a little side note, the uh, whole numbers, those are your atomic numbers. That's the number of protons that are in each individual element. Now, since we're dealing with atomic mass, we're going to be dealing with the, the, the smallest unit and that is the AMU. AMU stands for Atomic Mass Unit. So for carbon, I'm going to say that I have two carbons, and I'm going to multiply them by 12.01 AMU. Each carbon weighs 12.01 AMUs. I have, I have two of them, so I'll just multiply them. Hydrogen is 1.008 AMU, and then the bromine is 79.90 AMU. So let's just quickly find out what those are. So 2 times 12.01 is 24.02 AMU. 2 times 1.006 is 2.016 AMU. And then 2 times 79.90 is 159.8. And I'll put 159.80 AMU. 
And now what do we have to do if we want to find out the total mass? These are the masses of the individual elements, but if I want to find the total mass, yeah, you got it. I just got to add them up. Good job. So let's just figure it out. 159.80 plus 2.016 plus 24.02. And I get a whopping 185.836 AMU. And that is your final answer. That's your molecular mass. Now, if you wanted to just do sig figs, right, if you needed to take this into sig figs for some reason, I, I would think that this would be acceptable. But just know that, uh, you know, you do have the lowest number of sig figs going out to the hundredths place. So you're probably going to have to take off this six if your professor is like, or teacher is, you know, really, he really, or she really cares about sig figs. Um, but I don't. So I'm going to leave it like this. But if, if you did, it would be 0.84 and, you know, AMU, 185.84. But this is good for me. Okay, so that's the final answer. Guys, what do you think? Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I really, really hope that I'm helping you guys out. All right, keep studying hard. I know you guys have been studying hard, but just keep going, all right? So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, all right? Take care. Bye-bye.